increasing numbers of HIV patients around the world are becoming resistant to a key drug involved in its treatment. A study has shown Tenofovir is the drug of choice when it comes to treating and preventing HIV. This drug can also be used to treat hepatitis B. Well, it's used in a combination with other drugs to form the popular ART method of treatment. However, in some parts of the world, more than half of the people who've continued to have uncontrolled HIV despite being treated have turned out to have a form of the virus that is resistant to tenofovir. Well, what we're talking about here is this study that has been done focused on Africa and Europe, but obviously these results will affect America, Americans, and they found that in 60% of cases in several African countries, uh, according to the study, people are now becoming resistant to this drug that is one of the most popular key drugs in the treatment of HIV. In Europe, we're, we're finding that 20% of people are now resistant to this drug. Um, the reasons given so far for this are largely to do with people not actually taking the drug in the appropriate way. Poor administration in terms of regularity, uh, taking the right levels of tenofovir, uh, can explain the discrepancy. However, it is a little bit worse than that because when someone uh, doesn't take the drug properly and then becomes resistant to the drug, the strain of HIV that they then have in their system that is now resistant to this key treatment drug can be passed on to other people. So new infections are, are now emerging from people who are passing HIV around and these newer strains are resistant to this key drug. Here's a quote from the leading author of the study, Dr. Ravi Gupta, who said, that the results are extremely concerning. He said, if you develop resistance to that, it's a very large loss. Tenofovir is a critical part of our armamentarium against HRV, so it's extremely concerning to see such a high level of resistance to this drug. I mean, look, these antiretroviral meds, they only work if you use them properly. Inconsistent use can result in, your, in someone's ability to infect a partner if they're having unprotected sex. There was one stat that said 96% of uh, people that are HIV negative that are that they're they're not infected if they're if they're having sex with someone who's HIV positive but taking these medications the way that they should. So antiviral meds they only work if they're taken properly. I want to point out that here in the U.S. and we've covered it on the lip before of a case where someone knowingly had HIV and passed it. They're they're counting that as as recklessly infecting someone, which is a felony. So it's very important for a number of reasons to take these meds properly and consistently as they're prescribed by a doctor or as you mentioned new strains of HIV you could you could become immune yourself but also you know have run the risk of infecting someone if it's not taken properly well dr gupta also went on to say that we should not be complacent because these resistant strains can spread from person to person and that's why obviously the figures seem so much higher in some of these african countries uh, to those countries in europe because obviously there seems to be uh, better care and facilities and instructing people how to take their drugs properly however we're we're still seeing around 20% of people in Europe infected with HIV as resistant to this key drug. And, and the stats are very worrying. Uh, we're talking about, in the United States alone, 1.2 million people being infected with HIV and almost one in eight of them unaware that they have the virus. Um, it's definitely higher when we're talking about gay, um, bisexual people. In London, the figures are one in eight men who sleep with other men are infected with HIV. But but globally, 35 million people, uh, the World Health Organization estimates, have HIV, but around 50% of them unaware. So definitely worrying uh, new trends coming out. So the figures are worrying and certainly new concerns over the fact that people who don't take this HIV medication properly are contributing to the spread of HIV strains that are now resistant to this key treatment drug.